Can everyone see and hear me? I can't. I can't see you. I, oh, I'm. I'm realizing I do not have a speaker, and my monitor was off. Apologies, you guys. Okay, gang. Uh, welcome to Psych 101. Uh, before we get started. I would like to clarify something. I've gotten emails from several of you this weekend, and I would like to reiterate, please don't do that. You're not my problem. Uh, but I have gotten several emails from you guys this weekend about me accidentally emailing out your home addresses to the entire department, which I sent your lab packets to. Now, although I may be the common denominator in all of these situations, I would like to assure you that I have nothing to do with any repercussions. So any questions, questions at the end. So today we're gonna to be talking about a topic that I always skip right past without even thinking about, and that is inattentional blindness. Now, did you all happen to read the article I linked on Canvas before this lecture? Yes, yes, all of you, awesome, wonderful. Now you will all no doubt remember the fascinating claim that the author makes on the second page, regarding uh, the way in which we can completely miss visual cues that would generally clue us into things that were going on if, if our mind isn't explicitly looking for them. And now my goal as an educator on the subject is to not let anything slip past me. I try to stay you know, fully aware of everything that is going on around me at all times. Uh, professor, I think Jake just collapsed. No, I looked like he was just tired. Why would you assume that? Can you save your questions for the end, Janessa? I mean, did, did anyone have anything interesting to contribute in regards to the author's example of the drink being poisoned in the background? Professor, if you heard me ask David a question, didn't you hear Jenny tell you that Jake collapsed on his desk? Questions at the end, Janessa? I mean, Jesus Christ, you just, you're a horrible student. You do not uh, did anybody else just see Janessa get hit with a sign? What? Uh, I don't think so, no. Wait, David, are you in the bathroom right now? No. Um, I'm not. Janessa just got killed in front of us. We don't know. She got it. I'm not in the bathroom. Dude, David is totally in the bathroom. His video is in portrait mode. He's definitely sitting down. Did you not just see Janessa? Down. Janessa was just killed in front of us. Isn't that important? Yeah, yeah, no, we saw. That's just not what interests us what right now. <laughs> yeah, what we really want to know is why. I'm not in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. I, I don't think you're quite grasping the point, David, but I am encouraged to know that you are so passionate about the material. Now, you do raise an interesting point, though. If we look closely on line 324, and, and can you all flip there with me? Line line 324. You guys hear that too, right? Hear what? I think I'm fine not hearing what's going on in there. In the middle of the line, there is a point where the author very profoundly includes the phrase, oh, wow. the. Uh, what do you think he means by would whoever is playing that damn music please turn it off or at least mute your mic? <laughs> Wouldn't want to disturb anyone else in the bathroom. Not the bathroom. <laughs> okay, something is definitely questions at the end, Jane. I'm not asking a question. I'm telling you. I'm pretty sure David just. Pretty sure? Yes, I'm pretty sure he was just killed. So you aren't certain. It's certainly something you should be concerned about. So let me get this straight. You are asking me to clarify whether or not David was just slaughtered on my Zoom call. Dude, did you not just see David get psychoed? Did you not just see David get psychoed? That's what we're asking you. Aha! I knew it was a question. <laughs> oh my God. I got you. <laughs> Questions at the end. There is no way you missed that. Okay. Class, I I'm going to divide you all into breakout rooms and you'll discuss the deeply illogical way in which a person can overlook seemingly obvious stimuli. There are literally only two of us. Please don't divide us. 
So you clearly know, right? Questions at the end. <sighs> no, what? Uh, no, I'm not doing this. I'm just not doing this. <laughs> Uh, hey, David, I can still hear the shower running. Oh, you son of a... All righty, class. It's about that time. Are there any questions? Jane, I, I know you had one earlier. Uh, I think I'm good. All right, folks. Stay safe out there. Have a good night. I will see you all later. Great class today. Great class. Great. Uh, Jake, did you have a question? Oh, shit. Oh, huh, sorry. Um, I think I fell asleep for a bit. Oh, that is that is frankly unacceptable, Jake. I'm going to have to mark you absent. Are you kidding me? I told David to tell you guys I was tired. Oh, God, when I find him, I'm going to kill him. Oh, no, you're, you're good. <laughs> Don't worry about David. So you're not marking me absent? I'm marking you absent. Then what are you saying? Questions at the end.